Every once in a while, you come across a piece of gear that isn't really necessary, but useful, like a lens with a 1.2 f-stop, a car with heated seats, or this popcorn machine that I got on Amazon. And that's exactly how I feel about Sony's new TX660 recorder, the predecessor to the TX650. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the benefits the TX660 has over the Tascam DR10L. If this is your first time here, I make videos for wedding videographers such as myself and try to give the best advice I can to help you be a better shooter and deliver better videos to your couples. If you're into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you never miss a video. If you're coming from something like the Tascam DR10L like me, the TX isn't gonna blow you away with its sound quality, but there are some features that this guy can offer that the almighty task cam does not let's get into it Hi. <laughs> you look amazing thank oh you God. you guys what it looks like that's Do you beautiful like it? i couldn't imagine it being any better I know. The first thing I like about this recorder is the tally light. Don't sleep on that tally light life. If you've been using the DR10L, you know that it's recording when the screen goes black and the display time is rolling. But sometimes it can be hard to see in certain situations. Call me whatever you want, but there's been one or two, three, four, or five incidents over the years where I thought it was recording, but it really wasn't. With the TX, I never have any doubts. One quick look at the top of the recorder and I know it's working. The hole switch that's found on the side of the unit is also really nice, ensuring there isn't any accidental button pressing that could stop the recording. The second thing I like about this recorder is simply just how simple it is to use. Yes, the DR10L is also simple, but the ability to just clip this TX on a speaker in a pinch without fumbling through any wires is so underrated. I find people who are uncomfortable with being mic'd up are normally less resistant wearing the TX versus the DR10L. Nine out of 10 times, the bride and groom, the couple, will have no issues wearing any type of mic you give them. After all, it is their wedding. But for everyone else, how many times have you came across a situation where someone was uncomfortable with wearing the mic? I think the key here is having a mic with a smaller footprint so people don't get intimidated. Which seems better to you? My name is Raphael and I'm shooting video for Jen and Eric's wedding today. I know you'll be speaking later and I was really hoping you could wear this small microphone. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. All you're gonna do is just put this onto your lapel like this and then the rest of the pack can go into your shirt pocket. My name's Raphael and I'm shooting video for Jen and Eric's wedding. Uh, I know you'll be speaking later and I was really hoping you could wear a small microphone to record your speech. Uh, here's the mic, it's pretty simple to use. All you're gonna do is just clip this onto your lapel like that and you're good to go. Now both demonstrations were simple and easy, but in my experience, I've noticed virtually no resistance when miking people with the Sony TX. Adding to its convenience is the ability to start a recording with one press, even when the recorder is off. The DR10L uses a slide and hold mechanism to turn on and record, which takes approximately eight to 10 seconds. But with the Sony, as long as the whole switch is off, simply press the record button and you're in business. Now after the wedding, I'm always curious to hear how my audio sounds, I just want that instant gratification that it sounds good. To check the DR10L, I need a pair of headphones that plug into the side of the unit, meaning there's one more thing I need to carry. I personally carry a pair of headphones to monitor the audio I record using the Zoom H5, the recorder I use to plug into the DJ's mixer or receiver, so it isn't a problem for me. But the TX has a built-in speaker, so I can always get a rough estimate of how clean the audio sounds off this recorder without using a pair of headphones. Now, if you were in a loud area and you needed to check the audio, there is a headphone jack, not to be confused with a mic input at the top of the recorder, that you could use to connect a pair of headphones for a more personal listening experience. New in this unit is the jump button, which you can use to skim through recorded files in 10% increments. This is a very welcome feature that makes finding clips you want to listen to a lot faster. On the TX650, you had no choice but to upload the files to your computer first and then you could listen to it. Lastly, I'll briefly touch on battery life. It, it's great. I've actually never killed it. I always record on the highest setting, which is 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bit. On Sony's website, they claim 12 hours of battery life at this setting. I've only used it for like a max three hours before. And when I removed it from my talent, the battery indicator was always full. So I guess Sony isn't lying. The upgraded 660 comes with a brand new USB-C port, which means super fast file transfers as well as super fast charge times. I've never charged this recorder for the sole purpose of charging it. It's charged while I was doing file transfers 
And that being said, the transfers don't take long, so it's often not connected to my computer that long, but it's always fully charged. Sony doesn't advertise any fast charging, but I think with USB-C, we can safely assume that fast charging has become a standard. Now, there isn't too much to dislike about this recorder, but if I could pick one thing, it's probably the audio quality in comparison to the DR10L. I'm not saying this recorder is trash. This recorder works well and does capture great audio. It's super good at its job and it is very usable. I'm saying that if you own a DR10L already, the audio quality is a step down. Right by your side for every change we will go through for the rest of our lives, helping you be the best Rachel you can be. To married life, to having little Anglesmans running around the house, to moving the kids off to college, to retirement and getting old together. I'll be there every step of the way to support you and make it the best life I can. I'll take you out to dinners and date nights when we're old. I'll take you across the globe to see amazing things. I'll make you the amazing mother I know you'll be. I think it's heavy on higher frequencies, which entails bringing up the noise floor, therefore introducing unwanted background noise. Overall, it just sounds messy in comparison to the raw file you get from the DR10L. Okay, so how do, how do I use this recorder? So there's no nice way of saying this, but I bought this recorder and the TX650 for one main purpose, to mic up difficult wedding officiants. I know that sounds bad, but sometimes you run into priests, pundits, officiants, speakers who think they just have the most important jobs in the world and are simply too good to wear a microphone. Yeah, this is a trigger point for me, I'm sorry. I can't tell you the amount of times people have asked me, hey, will this mic be on like all the time? Listen, people don't wanna be recorded and you're basically asking them for an all access pass to their conversations over the next couple hours, they'll be wearing your mic. In my opinion, I think having a simple clip on all in one solution will present less resistance to people wearing it. Which is actually why I recommend it to new wedding videographers over the Tascam DR10L. Yeah, I said it, Sony over Tascam. Even if you've been filming weddings for a while, asking an absolute stranger to wear a microphone can be intimidating and there's always a possibility that they'll say no. You might say to yourself, well, why? Why wouldn't they want to wear my mic? Like, isn't this in the best interest for their couple, their friends, their family? Like, how could they not see that? Well, newsflash, sometimes people just want to hear themselves speak and they aren't thinking about preserving their speech for the couple over the next couple of decades. It's no offense to you, they just aren't thinking as far as you are. So if you're interested in picking up the Sony TX660 recorder, which I do recommend, I've got Amazon links to it down in the description below. If you do decide to purchase the device off of those links, I would receive a small commission that would help me grow this channel. So if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you found any value in this video and let me know what you're using to record that crispy and perfect audio at your weddings. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful rest of your week.